Canva is a web-based graphic design app that can create graphics, flyers, and infographics. It's a freemium tool, meaning parts are free, while some graphics and upgraded features cost extra, but you can easily work within the free features to create a very nice infographic. To get started, go to canva.com and sign up or log in with your Google account. Any existing designs that you have already started will be here. Just click to expand the item to edit it. Choose Create a Design to start a new project. Popular templates will appear, and I found an infographic option in the Blogging and Ebooks section, so I'm going to choose that. A huge variety of templates load up. Just about everything on these templates can be modified, but I suggest choosing one that has the color scheme that you like and a structure that is at least close to what you envision for your final infographic. This one has a little dollar sign by it, which means that to get an unwatermarked version of this photograph, I would need to pay money. I could simply use a different photo that's free, so don't let that stop you if you really like the template. But I don't like the colors of this one, so instead I'm going to use this template for my infographic. Although the template is highly customizable, you will not be able to adjust its overall dimensions in the free version, so make sure the size and orientation will work for your infographic. Infographics are not just a collage of different graphs. They mix information and statistics to meaningfully tell a story or provide a more holistic view of an issue than a single graph could. So really take some time to plan out how you want to include your information. First, let me change the title of this infographic since it's not relevant to my topic. Just click and type. Toolbar buttons give you additional options in case you want to change the size, style, or color of the text. I'm not sure if this book icon is the best for my topic, so I will select it and delete it using the trash can. Now let me switch to the search tab to see what else is available. Right now, both photos and illustrations are showing in my search results, but I think I will narrow it just to illustrations. There are only a handful of free graphics in my results, which is both frustrating but not surprising. Selling images for a buck a piece is how Canva makes a lot of its money. Try rewording your search to see if you get better options. And I will show you how to upload custom images soon, but this one will work fine for me. Click and drag the image to the right spot on your canvas. Some of the illustration images will allow you to recolor them using the fill tool up here, and this can really help you create a consistent color theme for your infographic. I have a statistic I want to include about student preferences when it comes to keyboards. So I'll first add my text and use the tools to adjust size and appearance. Then I'll either search for a person icon, or I'm just going to use the ones right here to help visualize this data. To get more people icons, I can select one and then hold down shift and click on the others to select many at once. Now I can choose copy and repeat that to get a couple more so that I have a full 10 people icons. Now I will click on these icons to change the shading. Nine of them need to be one color, and one should be a different color to best represent my 9 out of 10 statistic. Just click on an item and use the fill color option to change it. The colors listed first are those in the template standard color palette, but you can choose others too. Now that I've got the colors correct, I will again select all of my people icons by clicking one, holding down shift as I click across the whole row of them, and now I will group them using this button. This makes it a lot easier to move and resize the images as a group, and of course you can always ungroup them if you need to. Now let's explore how to add graphs and charts to your infographic. Click the Elements tab and choose Charts. Scroll through the options until you find the chart or graph that will best communicate your data. This one will work best for showing the different parts of spending, so I will choose it. Double click the chart or graph to edit the values. You can enter your values right here or copy and paste them in. I already have my data on a Google spreadsheet, so I'll copy it and paste it in. And wow, my graph got really tiny, so I may need to adjust my data. Just click and type to delete values or remove them from your chart. I'm going to combine the two numbers for Mac computers. Use the color and style options in the toolbar to adjust the appearance of your data as needed. And repeat this process for any other data you wish to bring in. The text tab has a variety of text styles and callouts that you can use to add some nice styling. 
Again, some are free and some are not. All elements of the template are adjustable. If you need to resize an area, just click on it and select it and make your adjustments. This template is using different layers of text boxes to create the different sections. The background of the entire canvas is yellow. I can visit the background tab to change that. Otherwise, I can change colors by choosing the section and then using the color fill box. Canvas saves periodically, but right now I have unsaved changes. So I will take a moment to choose File, Save. Now let's talk about adding your own graphics since so many of them cost money in Canva. I'm going to go to Google Images and search for a picture of a Chromebook. My infographics background is not white, so I'm going to use the tool button here and then change the color to filter just for transparent images. This gray and white checkerboard background means that an image's background is transparent. Right click to save it to your computer if you want to include it in your infographic. Now go back to Canva and choose the Upload tab. Choose Upload to upload your images, and once uploaded, you can click and drag them into your canvas. This looks so much better than using a similar image with a solid white background. However, if you can't find an image that you like that already has a transparent background, let me show you how to remove a background provided that it is a solid color. First, copy the URL or address of the image that you want to remove the background of. This one has a pretty standard white background. Then go to pixlr.com slash editor. Choose open image from URL and paste in the address you copied. There will be a lock icon in the background layer and you may need to move this panel over so that you can see it. You're going to need to double click that lock icon to unlock the background so you can make some changes. This is the magic wand tool. If you choose it and then click any color in your image, in this case white, it will select the entire white background. Now just hit the delete button on your toolbar and the white will be erased. And again, that gray and white checkered background means that the area of that image has been made transparent. Now save your image by choosing File, Save. Only certain types of images support transparency, so use the drop down menu to toggle to PNG transparent. Then title and save your image. Now you can upload that image into Canva and its transparent background will make your infographic look much more professional. You cannot adjust the size of your infographic with the free version of Canva, but you can add additional pages. I would caution against this though and advise you to instead resize items on your canvas if you need some more room, since infographics are nearly always just one page. But if you did have a compelling reason to add another page, you sure could. If you look at the other items on the Elements tab, you'll see options to search free photos, add shapes, line dividers, illustrations, which are all the images that are not photographs, and icons. All of these are very useful tools that you can use to better communicate your data and information. And whenever possible, Try to use similarly styled icons or graphics to add a more cohesive, professional look to your infographics. The Grids option applies an overall layout change to the background of your canvas. It allows you to have a different background for different parts of the canvas. This is something you'd probably want to adjust right away because as you can see, it's now on top of everything I just added. But this gives me an opportunity to show you how to easily reorder items. With the item selected, click Arrange and then keep choosing back or forward until your items are in the correct order. In my case, I need my images and illustrations on top of the background frames. Since I want to keep my infographic at just one page, I'm going to use the trash can icon to delete the second page. When you're done with your infographic and ready to link it to your digital poster, make sure to save it one more time. You have some options for connecting this infographic to your digital poster. One is by simply hyperlinking through Canva. To get your link, click Share and then Link. Make sure others can view, not edit your Canva, and then copy the link. If you use this link to add your infographic to your digital poster, it's going to open in a new tab like this when someone else clicks on it. And I don't really like this view since the Canva branding is really obvious and the area of the infographic is very limited. 
So alternately, and perhaps advisedly, you can download your infographic as a PNG image file. Once saved, you can then upload this image file to your digital poster if your selected tool supports file uploads. If it doesn't, an easy workaround is just to upload it to your Google Drive by choosing New, File Upload. Then you just need to browse to your saved PNG file and upload it. Once it's in your Google Drive, don't forget to share it. Make sure to choose Advanced when sharing and change the sharing settings to anyone with a link can view. Don't limit it just to people inside Jeffco. And then use this link to link it to your digital poster. This link will open in a nice clean tab without the Canva branding. With carefully selected graphics and data, you can use Canva to easily create a great infographic.